Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. Canadian visas and the many Indian students who apply. See right now as we have discussed in the previous sessions the tussle between the India and Canada has led to diplomatic row. Uh, in that uh, chain of event, uh, one of the event the, uh, the Canada has downsized its diplomats because of the announcement by the government of India that they will be revoking the diplomatic immunity. And what India said is that the Canadians are the Canadian diplomats are interfering in the in internal affairs of the countries. So that is the reason why the government has taken the government of India has taken such a action, and the fallout of the action led to the Canada. Downsizing is diplom uh, diplomatic people in the who's, who are present in India. And uh, what they are saying is that, what the experts are saying is that the downsizing may lead to slow down in the, the processing of India's visa application, the Indian's visa application. See, right now, the Canada offers nearly seven types of visa. First is the visitor's visa. See, as we all know, more number of diasporas of in uh, are present in Canada's and their uh, families and friends are present in India's. So, there will be frequent visit between the Canadian uh, di Indian diaspora and the Indian citizen who are present in India. They, the frequent visit will be taking place between the both of them. So, such kind of visit will come under visitors visa. Secondly, the study permit visa. And we, as we all know, if the Indians that are going to abroad to study in the um, education institution of the Canada means they need to obtain the study permit visa to do their masters or undergraduate degrees in the uh, Canada. Thirdly, work permit visa. Fourthly, the super visa and then business visa, transit visa and then permanent resident visa. So, these are all the different types of visa that has been given by the Canada to Indian citizens and then to the Canadian citizens about also sorry not Canadian citizens, the, the people those who are living in the Indian citizens those who are living in the Canada. As of December 2023, nearly 3,19,113 students have been regi registered in Canada. And then Canada is the, Canada ranks second in terms of our Indians overseas education destination after US. What is the reason for the huge demand in education in Canada is that First and foremost is the quality of education being given by them is equal to the quality of education being given by US and UK. Secondly, the degrees that has been obtained from Canada is competitive, is equal to the competitiveness of the degrees that has been obtained from United States and United Kingdom. Thirdly, vocational and diploma courses are also, are also being provided by the Canadian education institutions. And then fourthly, the cost of education in Canada is very less when compared to United States as, as well as United Kingdom and the easy to get permanent residentship in the Canada is also is also acting as the attractive pull factor to make the students to make first initially go to the Canada in the form of study permit through the study permit and from the after finishing the graduate they could easily get uh, converted themselves into the permanent resident. And then the China's policies to attract the foreign students. So, these are all the factors that made Canada as the second largest overseas education destination for our Indian students. So, why Canada's policy has been eased for, eased for the India's, China's as well as Philippines and Vietnam students. Vietnam students is they wanted to attract those students mostly from the Asian continent. The reason is we will discuss in the upcoming slide. See the, what benefits the Canada has by pulling, uh, by attracting those international students, by, by attracting those international students, most importantly those students, those who are present in the Asian countries. See, the Asian countries and, and the students, those who are pr uh, present in the countries, the craze for studying in the higher education in the abroad is very high and the demand for the uh, uh, higher education in the the, the demand for higher education in the abroad by the Asian students is also very high. So, if the Canada provides an opportunity to study 
study in their country means they will be benefited by the following scenarios firstly the contribution to the canada's they will be contributing to canada's education economy approximately the indians those who are going to canada are contributing in the form of 10 billions dollar as college fees tuition fees to the canadian education economy and then if the if the students are living there means are the uh, are the employees or if the employee are the business people those who are living there means they will be spending on their living expenses which will also have a huge which will also is contributing to their huge uh, demand for their economy thirdly the canada geography is very high but the but their population is very less when compared to the geography so that they are one of the low density populated country so that they are uh, they are facing a labor shortage problem so that by easing the education policy for the international student in their country means they could able to attract the huge number of the uh, international students so which will sort out their labor shortage problem that has happened that has arisen in their country because of their lower population so these are all the benefits the canada has in terms of pulling the international uh, students to their own countries so how the news has been related to examination is under prelims, it is related to current event of national and international importance. Similarly, under mains, it is related to the effect of diaspora uh, policies and politics of developed and developing countries on Indian interest and Indian diaspora. So, this is what the analysis in relation to the diplomatic uh, row between India and Canada and its fallout on the students those are going to study in abroad is about um, most uh, specifically Canada is about what need to be studied for the rest we should know about what is India Canada relationship is about secondly we should also know about the Canada as well as the whole North American map thirdly we should also know about what is fire intelligence